who should use SFRA and who should use PWA? So basically, to conclude, uh, businesses who want their website uh, on the latest technology and with all the modern approaches can go for the PWA kit. Uh, they uh, won't be dependent on a certain. Um, a Ar- particular architecture, for get, for particular architecture, and or tech even, stack. Even the developer base. So uh, the developer base of uh, Commerce Cloud is very limited. Mm-hmm. So they wouldn't have to depend on uh, a certain developer base or find a certain developer. They can uh, develop their uh, front end on any application. And obviously, everybody, uh, every developer would be able to call the API and uh, connect it with the business manager. And uh, people who are looking for uh, like uh, launching their storefront very quickly and uh, with uh, quick integrations, they can go for the SF. Since uh, we have the cartridges and we can perform the integrations very quickly. All right. So what you want to say is that if you are an e-commerce business out there looking for a quick implementation that is robust and also provides the capability of different cartridges that is already being developed and deployed, uh, which allows you to integrate different different applications, including the existing Salesforce clouds like Marketing Cloud, Sales Cloud, or anything, go for SFRA. But if you are a uh, if if you are an e-commerce business who wants uh, different different applications on different different device, uh, basically PW uh, if if you want a progressive web application which should work on different different devices and which is use Commerce Cloud as a backend, uh, and you do not want to just depend onto one uh, developer base uh, that is Commerce Cloud, then in that case go for. Uh, PWA architecture, PWA applic- uh, application. Probably. Also, there's one more scenario where people uh, are already on a certain platform and they do not want to like invest a lot to shift to uh, like uh, ha, invest a, that's lot, a major problem. lot of time. And, and you have to also get your users adopted to it. Yeah, and uh, you don't want to shift to SFRA and you don't want to build everything uh, according to the SFRA. You can uh, use your existing, uh, existing application. And as we discussed, we can just uh, use the APIs to manage the backend. All right, all right. And and uh, you've written down a note in here and that says, eventually PWA kit will also introduce plug and play integrations in the future, but it's not there yet. Yeah, I think Salesforce is already working on that. There are a few plug and play things uh, for the PWA kit in uh, development. So I think uh, that would make the integrations also easier in the PWA kit as well. Just all like right. we have uh, cartridges for the SFRA, I think uh, for the React based application that they have provided, they can provide the plug and play integrations also all right so do you think this pwa is going to replace sfra sooner because it's introducing all of the capabilities that the sfra has already got but still some more features to it uh <laughs> i think at cert- certain point yeah people would prefer it as after like uh, if we have the plug and play integrations uh, in, in this uh, pwa kit also i think i i would prefer it personally uh but <laughs> But yeah, Salesforce is uh, not marketing it uh, that way that it's going to replace SFRA or anything. I think it's going to impact a lot of businesses who are already using Salesforce Commerce Cloud and are built on SFRA. Hmm. So hence, uh, Salesforce would not want that. But if it is really beneficial for people to move on uh, with the upcoming releases the PW kit or or the PW will have, I think it is going to be beneficial for... And if it is going to be beneficial for the business, I think this is the way we are moving forward. Probably. Or or or, or you're still not sure about it. Well, I guess. Kind of. (laughs) (laughs) All right.